Continuiamo così Riot Games che vogliamo, eh. E ragazzi, finalmente è arrivato il giorno. Io vi auguro una buona visione, sarò il vostro host per vedere Top of New, che finalmente dopo tanto tempo è tornato. Vi auguro una buona visione, ragazzi. Se avete paura, eh, staccate adesso. Eh, se non avete paura, godete il video. Buona visione a tutti. Bismillah. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on camera Dancing with the dead 11 years ago, Tony Noguera recorded a short video of his son Elijah dancing to a Green Day song that was playing on their TV. He uploaded the video to his YouTube channel, and for years the video went mostly unnoticed. That is, until Tony's footage was shared on Reddit and hundreds of Reddit users agreed on one thing. There's something truly bizarre going on in this video. Dance. Cosa quella cosa c'è? Dance, look at Liza, go like this. Liza, oh. hey, like this. Liza, look at it. Hey. Liza, go like this. Ma che cazzo è quella? È la mamma, la mamma. Were you dancing to uh, some Green Day? Dance, go. Did you see it? Right behind little Elijah, what looks like the dark shadowy figure of a child can be seen, just kind of standing there watching the family. A few seconds later, and the child disappears. Even creepier, right after the small shadowy figure is seen, a strange unexplained childlike giggle can be heard. Eliza, go like this. Now, I reached out to Tony Noguera personally, and he says that he has no idea who or what this unexplained figure might be. But he says his house does have a very creepy history. Tony's house is inside a gated community in Reno, Nevada, and the property on which the neighborhood was built used to be an old graveyard back in the 1960s. So could this creepy apparition be the ghost of a child buried on the community grounds long ago? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Really haunted. Lee from the YouTube channel Really Haunted says that his house in England is a hot spot for strange paranormal activity. For over two years, Lee and his family have witnessed and captured Two years, Lee and his family have witnessed and captured terrifying events caught on static cameras that are set up throughout their home. Now, if you're a longtime Nukes Top 5 viewer, you've probably seen some of Lee's scary poltergeist moments in my videos. And well, things have only gotten worse. Late one night, Lee is fast asleep in bed when his hallway and bedroom static cameras capture something downright chilling. Io mi sono cagato sotto. Mi sono cagato sotto. <ride> sono andato a correre. Madonna di Dio. <ride> e siamo long, siamo long ragazzi. Good the way. A shadow figure seems to slowly rise from the floor in the hallway and then inexplicably zooms upwards into the Madonna di Dio. Signor Giacas ce l'ha fatta mettere un po' sui curti per i lavori nel caso di tal challenger cazzo. Ne siamo tornati di tre, cazzo. Signor Giacas, grazie mille, terzo mese. Un bacione nuovo beige sul canale e riprenduto le cani The ceiling. Guarda come è volato. Lee says that whatever this strange shape was, it actually knocked open the attic door. The sounds you hear in the video are the attic door being violently pushed open and then just moved around. Then later we cut to Lee's bedroom. And now, whatever is in the attic seems to be moving Lee's overhead lamp around. But things get even weirder.
Estate 2021, tre suggerimenti per scolpirsi e arrivare in spiaggia a testa alta come uno spartano. 1. Concentra i carboidrati a fine giornata. Because a few days later Lee's wife Stacy is home and fast asleep in bed when she experiences something absolutely terrifying. Did you see it? Now this one is a little hard to catch, but when the footage is sped up, you can clearly see another unexplained shadowy mass slowly floating towards Stacy before it violently yanks her hair. Surprisingly, the seemingly painful incident didn't wake her, and Stacy says she doesn't remember any of it. After viewing the footage, the couple was understandably pretty freaked out. Lee says that this is the most terrifying footage that he has ever caught because it seems that whatever is haunting his home is becoming more and more violent and aggressive. I highly recommend that you check out all of Lee's paranormal experiences over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Things in the Woods. This next mysterious video was sent to the popular Japanese YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. They explained that there was no extra information attached to the email in which the video file was shared. They tried reaching out to the sender, but they got no reply back. In the video, a man appears to be walking through the woods, seemingly looking for someone. What happens next is absolutely horrifying. Trombo Pecori ci scrive, è ovviamente falso, ma come cazzo fate a credere a ste cazzate? Ma non c'è bisogno di attaccare se qualcuno ha una credenza diversa rispetto alla tua, ci si può confrontare e arrivare a una soluzione pacifica per entrambi senza offendere nessuno. Pezzo di merda rotto in culo. Torniamo. Nareka, Oh, che cazzo era? Ciao? Questo non te lo so dire, sinceramente. Dove è rimasto? Ma scusami però. Allora. Oh, che cazzo è quello che si muove? Ma In the distance, what appears to be a tree branch. Però, ti sei cagato sotto, ti sei cagato. E poi torni e fai. Poi torni e fai. C'è qualcuno? Ma resta lì a sto punto! Ma perché cazzo scappi e poi ritorni? Can be seen moving bizarrely on its own. And shortly after the man spots two translucent things walking out of the dark forest. One large figure and one small. Now some people in Fourth Wall's comment section oh, suspect the that the man might be looking for someone inside the infamous Aoki Gihara forest. The same forest where many Japanese men and women take their own lives. Oh, dear. Oh, But what do you think? Logan Paul, you you can watch many more creepy videos of strange ghostly sightings over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. Viewer videos. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Rocky reached out to me about a video his sister took at their family home in South Florida. Rocky claims that their home might be haunted as the family has witnessed their TV turning on by itself, glasses suddenly breaking, and the voice of an older man coming from somewhere inside their house. Even stranger, Rocky claims that they have seen glimpses of strange shadow figures throughout the house. Rocky says that their home is in a bit of a bad neighborhood where many horrible crimes have taken place. He says that he wonders if their home could have been the site of some tragic event that caused the haunting. One day Rocky's sister Jay believes she saw yet another shadow figure in the bathroom of their house and begins to record with her phone. What she captures is truly bizarre.
<laughs> Did you see it? As Jay is playfully switching back and forth between her phone's selfie and front camera, she catches what appears to be a very strange shadow right behind her brother. Now, when analyzing this footage, it should be noted that Rocky is holding a large cup in his right hand, virtually eliminating the possibility that this strange shadow might be his own arm. At the speed that the shadow flies upwards, it seems very unlikely that Rocky would be throwing his beverage up like that. There's also nothing behind Rocky that could explain the sudden appearance and disappearance of the shadow. There's only a teddy bear. So just what is this? Non è tromba pecore. Non è tromba pecore. Questo qua è tromba pecore. Un pezzo di merda. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer who has a family member who works at the Huntington County Historical Museum in Indiana. The Huntington Museum is home to a collection of Indiana historical artifacts and sits right next to the Old Town Railroad track. And to me, I'm just saying, ancient historical artifacts plus building near creepy old railroad equals, it's, it's probably haunted. But... Let's take a closer look. One day when the museum is closed and empty, the security camera motion detector is triggered by... something. When the staff checks the footage, they are shocked by what they find. A dark mass can be seen darting towards the staircase in the back, and then quickly disappearing back into the darkness. Now some might say that this is simply a digital glitch, and that this figure is maybe just a person moving too quickly for the camera to pick up clearly. However, note that at the exact same moment, a car passes by the glass door nearby, and the car can be seen in pretty crisp detail. But as for the dark mass, there are no visual details at all. It's just an odd, shapeless black mist. Even creepier, the shadow figure is very small, about the size of a young child. But what do you think? Is the Huntington Museum haunted? You decide. Good friends Jay and Gino are hanging out, having a few Gino. drinks at Jay's home in England. Then this happens. Gino non sta troppo bene però eh io Gino Gino è distrutto Jay's CCTV camera captures the moment when one of the glasses sitting on the table mysteriously shatters into pieces. Now, Jay has no explanation for this creepy event, but a few days later, and things just get weirder. Me sideways. This time, the two friends both witness another glass explode on the table right in front of them. Jay explained in his email. Me sideways. This time, the two friends both witness another glass explode on the table right in front of them. Jay explained in his email that he's experienced a few other strange things, but nothing worth a concern. Now, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what's causing Jay's glasses to just randomly explode. Is it paranormal? Or does the glassware manufacturer just need to do a product recall on Jay's shitty glasses? You decide. You decide. After school, Back. paranormal investigator Crisel Luna gets the unique chance to investigate a very old public school in Mexico that is said to be haunted. Back. Now, most allegedly haunted locations that I talk about on this channel have long been abandoned or deserted, but this particular school <laughs> is still in use. In fact, the old school building is only temporarily shut down because of the current health situation okay. around the world. 
So shortly after her arrival, Criselle interviews a woman named Isabel who has worked as a cleaner and caretaker at the school for many years. Isabel claims to have seen bizarre shadows walking the school hallways and has heard strange unexplained noises throughout the building. She explains that the school was founded by a teacher named Magana, a man who lost his life inside one of the school's classrooms. Locals say that they see his ghost walking the school grounds very often at around 5 in the afternoon, and it is said that he picks up chairs and smashes them against the floor in anger. Fisel is joined by her friend Melissa as they start their investigation inside the classroom where the teacher Magana is said to have passed away. When Criselle asks for a sign, things take a very bizarre turn. Y con todo respeto, a mí me gustaría pedirle, de verdad, con todo respeto, a su energía por todo lo que se dice, porque se dice que él habita aquí, porque se dice que todavía lo ven aquí, que todavía él avienta cosas con mucho enojo, como nos contaba la señora Isabel, ¿por qué no lo sabemos? Pero sí, de verdad, a mí me gustaría pedir algo, una manifestación de su energía. <ride> ma mi chiago sempre sotto <ride> ma che poi io cioè quando faccio così è perché mi spento tanto di più capito perché non me lo aspetto salto proprio si è che io sto qui di verità so che sto giocando tal vez con fuego però nadie entra qui di noche e io sto facendo lo oggi perché quiero sapere ah si escucha algo one of the classroom's desk suddenly begins to move on its own could it be that the ghost of teacher Magana is moving it maybe trying to pick it up and throw it to the floor? Either way, the movement is very slight. After this scary experience, Criselle and Melissa head over to investigate a different classroom inside the old school building that they believe is haunted by the child ghosts of former students. And this is when things start to get really creepy. I can feel much more cold, I tell you. Much more cold than in the other room where the professor died. Se siente helado y no sé por qué, muchísimo más baja la temperatura aquí. Y, y ¿sabes qué? Que pienso, Melissa, de verdad, es como si aquí eh, hubiera niños, no sé, el alma de un niño o de varios niños, porque tal vez uno de ellos o varios que vinieron, porque es una escuela muy vieja, ya perdieron la vida y puede ser también que ellos... A school book moves on its own, giving both Criselle and Melissa a bit of a fright, but they continue their investigation. When they find the school's library, they also find something terrifying. Vamos a entrar. Criselle and Melissa are shocked when they see a dark figure walking the hallway right outside of the library. But when they look into the hall, there's no one there. The mysterious shadow figure has just disappeared into thin air. So is the old school haunted by the restless spirit of teacher Magana? And could the ghosts of former students be haunting the empty classrooms? 
you let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Criselle Luna. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here.